So in the previous parts, I was steering towards the fact that uh, Microsoft is basically trying to change the paradigm of the market and the way the market works. So uh, there is a very famous quote from uh, the former CDO, the chief technical officer of Microsoft. He said that the uh, uh, he said intellectual property is the next software, which kind of makes you wonder. Mm, okay, well, what does that mean? Well, what he's doing is collecting about 30,000 patents and he goes after the companies and he says, well, you can pay me some money and then you have access to algorithms which basically used to be available before. So they're allowed to then implement some very basic things on phones or computers, whatever. Uh, and that's a very good example of what the, uh, the MPAA was trying to do before, the RAA, which is to take people's rights away from them, the rights to for example, take your music and put it on a music player, they apply to this thing called the RM, uh, restriction ma Restrictions Management, is the uh, spin that the FSFs like to put on the, on the acronym. Uh, and then it basically sells back the rights to us, so it will charge us over and over again to put the same music even on many devices. It takes away the rights and sells them back. What Microsoft is trying to do then is to, in some sense, take the computer code uh, decompose this into ideas or to algorithms of pseudocode, uh, use patents and then say, well, we can, we took these things back away from you. We say these are the innovations. The innovations all of a sudden are not actual programs, but actually the idea of how to do like the progress bar and tabs and who knows what else. They have patents on double click. And then we have to sell it back to you and you have to pay not for the implementation, but you might have to pay a company like Samsung to get the patent license from Microsoft to get access to patents. And they use all these words like securing patents and ownership and uh, access to knowledge, like access to the patent portfolio. Oh, it sounds very compelling if you're like thinking of that ideas are like packages and, uh, and items and objects or whatever. So this is one of the recent reasons that I have to, that I do think we have to resist Microsoft because this is one of the leading companies to do that. Uh, the other one, increasingly Apple, is trying to do the same type of thing for its own benefit. So I'll explain, I guess, something about the history that I have with Microsoft and the reason I originally uh, have had this day for the company.